I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished up this 1923 Chickering and it turned out amazing. Cosmetically, the way it sounds, the way it plays. This is a complete rebuild, which are my favorites to do. To, it, just, it just really like gives us the opportunity to, to really go for it and, and, it, and it is worthwhile. This piano is good to go for another three generations. I mean, 1923, that's, well, 100 years exactly, as we're making this in 2023. And, and this piano is gonna be, gonna be ready for another rebuild in 2123, I think. Okay, let's start with, with how good it looks. It's just absolutely gorgeous. She, she wanted to accentuate the veneer as much as possible. I told her that the lighter we go, like if we just go only lacquer as opposed to putting on a stain or a dye or something and then adding lacquer that, uh, that only um, will hide the grain. I mean, the, the lighter you go, the more, the more the grain really pops. So, so this is just a natural finish. The, the, the drawback is that any blemishes that there were, and there were quite a few blemishes in this, the harder it is to disguise those. So of course, on a, on a really dark piano, particularly a black piano, the uh, blemishes can be virtually invisible, and if not totally invisible. A light piano, you've got those, you've got those two kind of opposing um, factors, those opposing forces, I guess. Okay, so cosmetically, piano's awesome. And, well, why don't we actually why don't we check out the, the plate too, because that's that's part of the that's part of the cosmetics as far as I'm concerned. Open that wide. We've got the we've got the original soundboard in there that we've repaired. We've got the plate that we've got the automotive paint on, and and that looks super super good super clean and smooth it's as smooth as glass smooth as it, smooth as it looks it's all bondoed and puttied and patched and and it just looks awesome and then on the on the guts this piano had a full restoration let's check it out i'm not going to open it up for the video but you can you can get a pretty good idea on the inside we've got new hammers in there we've got all new dampers you can see all the all the new damper felts, new shanks. The whippins are new. The, the the action is basically all brand new. See that down in there. Then the pedals. Let's check out the pedals. Those are original, but they're let me uh, clean those up, make them look good. The casters, the casters were not originally brass. And they, they, they were originally like a, uh, some kind of a steel, I guess. And, and I just figured, piano that looks this good, we cannot put steel casters on there. So we just got six new casters, two on each leg. And, and that looks good. I think that was, a, that was the right move, I would say. And check out the keys. Keys look great. Way to go, Ezzy. Ezzy did our key job. Ezzy's awesome. And then we've got the replica decal there. Looks beautiful. Okay, well let's let's listen to it. Nice.
I like that. I like that touch and tone a lot. I think they're going to be really pleased. I think their children are going to, their children are young, by the way. Their children are, are going to inherit this piano. Their, their children are going to inherit this piano. So this piano is ready to go for generations. I'm really excited about that one. This turned out awesome. Thanks for watching. <laughs>